Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you all of the titles that I purchased during the month of August. Um, August was a busy month because of there being five weeks of Tuesdays during the month of August. I say that it was a busy month. I guess really overall it was a um, lighter month than the previous ones, but we did get some really great titles, so I thought I'd take time today to show you what all I got. First up, I got the 4K release for Flatliners. I really enjoyed this film. Um, I haven't seen it in a very long time. I did see this one in the theater when it was released, so really nice to have that one on 4K. Um, I did get some Kino Lorber titles during the month. Um, the very first week, we got The Octagon with Chuck Norris. We have A Force of One with Chuck Norris, and we got Good Guys Wear Black with Chuck Norris. And then we also got Catch the Heat. Okay, next up we did get, um, from overseas, we got Tiger Cage 1 through 3, the collection. This right here is from 88 Films, I do believe, yep. So Tiger Cage 1 through 3. We got Running Out of Time, number one and two from Eureka. And I also picked up Get Carter. Um, this right here is a 4K release box set. Um, so very happy to have that one in the collection. So that was from the first week in August. On the second week of August, I got Crimes of the Future. I've heard mixed reviews about this particular one. Very interesting looking character on the back. I definitely need to check this one out. And I picked up Last Seen Alive based on Gerard Butler being in it. But I've heard some terrible things about this one, so I'm not really sure. I picked up the A24 release of Men, which was just mediocre to me. I picked up Heat on 4K with this nice looking slipcover. And also I got the Still Book from Best Buy. And I picked up the 4K release for Doom, which I still need to check out. And then we have the release for Sonic 2, um, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I got the Blu-ray here, and I got the still book. The Blu-ray that I picked up was the Walmart exclusive. So um, I do plan on picking up the 4K release and the, yeah, I guess just the 4K release. It has a slip. And then we got another Paramount Presents with Back to the Beach. Been a very long time since I've seen this one. I do like the fact that it has a lot of cameos in it. So um, I do, I've, I've only seen this um, once, way back when, when it was released, I guess. Haven't seen it since. I did get the um, Disney Movie Club exclusive for Lilo and Stitch 2 movie collection with a new slip. So happy to have that one. I got Event Horizon still book. Watched this one for the first time. I really enjoyed it. Great sci-fi horror type film. I also picked up the UK release that has the still book and some extra content to it. And I also picked up the Flying Guillotine Part 2. Um, this right here is from 88 Films, I believe. And I do try to get all the martial art films that have the slips from 88 Films. Okay, during the third week of August, I picked up They Went That Away and That Away from Kino Lorber. Um, I haven't seen this one since 1978 when I went and saw this at the drive-in with my parents. Um, it was okay. It wasn't nothing special. It's not as good as I remembered. I got Baby Assassins with this nice looking slipcover. I got the Oslo Trilogy. Um, I've been wanting, I, I, I saw the worst person in the world um, during the beginning of August. And when I saw that they had the trilogy available, I went ahead and just purchased that. I got my Monsters from um, Second Sight. Just recently watched this film a couple of months ago. Very dark and depressing, but I do enjoy it. I got the 4K still book for... Um, this one is Jurassic World Dominion. I almost forgot the title without having it on the, on the cover. I got this... 4K still book for Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade. I uh, got some Kino Lober titles. I got Samson and the Seven Miracles of the World. We got Electric Electro Glide in blue. We got the Child's Play still book and Child's Play 4K. 
Child's Play 2 on 4K and Child's Play 3 on 4K, which I need to open all of these up to see if it has any gunk on the inside. Okay, um, during the fourth week, I got my Zavi order for um, Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. They were doing some new still books for that line. I got Dirty Dancing 4K with this nice looking slip. I got Fern Gully, The Last Rainforest with the slip. I got Dog Soldiers on 4K with the slip. I got the second sight release for Dog Soldiers 4K. I got the Kino Lorber 4K for um, Pass of Glory. Need to check that out. I did get Red Dawn on 4K. I got the still book, which I really love the artwork on this one. And I also got the 4K release um, with a slip. Okay, on the last week of August, I got Summer Heat from Kino Lorber. I got this limited run of 1500 from Screen Factory for Stripped Kill and Final Judgment. And also Space Truckers. Got the 4K release for Warrior. Still book. Looks really nice. I got the Arrow release for Running Out of Time 1 and 2. I got the, I guess, limited series release for 1883, a Yellowstone origin story, which I've heard great things about. From Kino Lorber, I got Mata Hari. Um, from Second Sight, I got The Mummy. And I got Frankenstein and The Monster from Hell. And from Kino Lorber, I also got Mysterious Island of Beautiful Women. And then lastly, I got the 4K release for Cat People. So those are all of my pickups during the month of August. Like I said, it was a slower month, just had more weeks in it. Um, but very happy to have all the ones that I got during this month. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about my pickups. Let me know what you think about some of these films that I should check out. I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.